Salweta, and welcome to Zombie Latin. In this episode, we will talk about the third declension. The third declension is a new declension for us, and it has two patterns. One for both the masculine and the feminine in one pattern, and a separate pattern for neuter nouns. We will identify the third declension by the I-S in its genitive singular in the vocab entry. For example, mater, matris, feminine, mother, or tempus, temporis, neuter, time. Additionally, from the genitive singular, we will get the stem after we drop is. So for the vocab entry mater, matris, feminine, mother, after we drop the is, the stem is m-a-t-r. See if you can correctly find the stem for tempus, temporis, neuter, time. If you found it correctly, it is t-e-m-p-o-r after we drop the is. So we've talked about how to identify a third declension noun and how to find its stem. Now let's take a look at the endings which will attach to the stem. These are going to be the same endings for both masculine and feminine third declension nouns. The endings will go star, is, e, m, e, ais, um, ibus, ais, ibus. Now star isn't a letter, and so let's talk about what that means. It means basically just look at whatever the vocab entry tells you it is. Because remember, the vocab entry always starts out with the nominative singular. Let's practice together by declining the word mater, matris, feminine, mother. We'll set up our chart like normal with singular on the left and plural on the right, nominative, genitive, dative, accusative, ablative from the top to bottom. The first thing we'll do is we'll carry mater straight out of the vocab entry to the nominative singular position, and then we'll carry matris out of the vocab entry to the genitive singular position. After that, our stem is m-a-t-r, which we got from dropping the i-s from the genitive singular, so we can write that out eight more times. Then, add the endings i-m-e, ace um ibis ace ibis, and we will get the forms Matri, matrem, matre, matres, matrum, matribus, matres, matribus. Now, try on your own to decline the noun rex, regus, masculine, king. Set up your chart and then pause the video and try to do it on your own. If you did it right, you should have gotten rex straight out of the vocab entry and then regus for the genitive singular again straight out of the vocab entry. Your stem would be reg after dropping the is. R-E-G, to which we'll add our endings, giving us dative singular regi, accusative regem, and ablative rega. Then, in the plural, reges, regum, regibus, reges, regibus. We'll keep practicing this in class. Right now, make sure you put these new endings on your best friend. Waleta!